This must be the Warg Forest. We need to be careful. There may well be exorcists around. This is a dual-layered barrier. It's the Abbey's new invention. So it's two barriers working in tandem, then. That sure sounds like a hell of a lot of trouble just to stop people from coming in. It really does. Reaper's curse of yours is consistent, if nothing else. The curse even affects coin flips? Seems that way. A Moloch's powers affect physical objects and can, at times, even synchronize with their wavelengths. And in your case, it's that coin? Yeah. That's why it always comes up tails. You must forgive my skepticism. Whether you choose to believe it or not is really up to you. It might be worth noting that coin is also Aizen's vessel. So is that wavelength business the reason why Lafayette always has that compass around him? That's part of it, but in another sense. It's a kind of proof of his manhood. Proof of his... manhood? Must polish you so you don't rust. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. For a Praetor, you really don't know that much about the world, do you? Ugh. The Reaper's Curse. The Abbey needs to know about this. A coin that always comes up tails. Can a Mog's influence extend so far? I see you're a woman of deep skepticism. I know it's hard to believe, but Aizen's coin really does only come up tails. Wait a minute. Are you using some sort of trick on it, Mogilu? Oh! Your gaze falls on me, then? Well, I am a woman of deep skepticism. And one who holds grudges, too, apparently. But no, I don't have anything to do with it. In fact, I tried a little spell to make it come up heads, and it wouldn't take hold. The coin's not gimmicked. There's no trick. See for yourself, if you like. <gasps> this is... the Demon Lord Douse! Good eye. It's from Carl. It's from Carlin! I've never seen an authentic specimen! It's incredibly ancient, and yet it looks freshly minted. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Gold is normally soft, but they found a way to heart. I know! They cover the surface of a softer metal with a heat reactor shaped memory alloy! That's what makes it hard to scratch. Uh, right. It's a technique no one alive can duplicate, and it makes any trickery impossible. I might just have to believe in this curse of yours after all. I thought you said they had made the surface itself harder, not covered it with something else. I think you're mistaken. No, I swear you said... Let's just leave it at that. Okay. Shape memory alloy. Hmm. That's how they did it. What does this Solitoma flower look like exactly? In a word, ugly. The flower itself is purple with leaves and stem of maroon. An ugly flower. All right, I'll keep an eye out. By the way, do you know what Solitoma means in the language of flowers? Was it deceitful coexistence? What's with that? Even its symbolism is awful. Deceitful Coexistence. <laughs> the perfect flower for us. Ugh. What's wrong, Luffy said? Magilu is right, isn't she? Could be. 
Eleanor is from the Abbey. I'm not sure that someone like that would ever genuinely want to make friends with us. That's what I thought. But it's not all quarrels between us. There's... commonalities, I guess you could call it. We share common ground. Deceitful coexistence doesn't trouble me at all. I'll always be here for you, Madam Eleanor. You and I shared an eternal vow that binds us together. All I did was make a pact to tether you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't talk about it in a way that could create the wrong impression. <laughs> Madam Eleanor, you're so cold. Dry your eyes, Bianfu. You still have me, don't you? Oh, Miss Mogulu, you're the only one for me, honest! Good, good. Now think hard on my kindness and do as you're told. Yes, ma'am. I'll just have to hang in there until I find a new love. Lafisat, think about deceitful coexistence this way. Demon, exorcist, Moloch, pirate, witch. We're never going to be a single cohesive unit. But each of us understands where the others are coming from in a way that's very real. So it's not really a deception? Yeah, not really. I think selfish coexistence might make the better fit. <laughs> Maybe so. <sighs> belong to a Salatoma. Be on the lookout for the ugly flowers. Ugly purple flowers. Got it. I'll finish this now. Finished here. Let's go. They were nothing.
What do you think you're doing here? We could ask the same of you. Is something going on back there? They didn't look like they were demon hunting. Ah. Are you making that move? No, it just did it by itself. He's in sync with his compass, just like Aizen and his coin. Aizen, you're an Earth Moloch, right? Do you sense anything around here? No, I don't. It seems Lafayette's senses are sharper than mine. It stopped, but something still feels wrong. Like what? It kind of feels like when we got sealed inside that Earth Pulse. So a force similar to Inominat's power? I'm starting to think this may be no ordinary demon we're dealing with here. Looks like a dead end up ahead. Luffy said, do you feel anything here? No, not right now. Ah, uh, look! Purple flowers! Yep, Solitoma. Is the demon the real reason the Abbey's closed off the forest? Worry about it later. It's flower picking time. Agreed. What do you think, kiddo? I told you these things were hard on the eyes. I mean, who puts those colors together? Yeah, they're really nasty looking. But if they help the others, that's good enough for me. <gasps> what is that? that? This must be the demon we were warned about. Are you all right? I'm okay. So much for this demon being hard to find. Is this the Reaper's curse yet again? We're just getting started. Another barrier! That barrier... Even my greater hearts can't break that. What's going on here? Why go to such lengths to keep this demon alive? Either way, I don't think we're hauling home any flowers unless we beat up Mr. Bugglesworth here. Right! Everyone, let's do this! This thing is so cool! I want to be a bug! So fantasizing and help us get rid of it! Oh, my God. 
collecting is a sweatier hobby than I thought. Look! Can we keep him? No. Hand it over. I'll dispose of it. The Abbey had some reason for protecting it. Maybe we should keep it alive for observation. You want it, you feed it. I will! I'll take care of him. Anyway, now that we've got these flowers, Eleanor and my crew ought to be out of danger. Hey! Forgetting somebody? It looks like we've closed the door on this little episode. That insect demon was a bit of a surprise, but I still think this curse business is overblown. I can count on one hand how many have survived more than three years at my side. If you're not careful, you might wind up as corpse number 50. 50? That's how many comrades I've lost. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Just saying, don't let your guard down. Right. Now that we've got what we need, we should get back to the ship. Hmm. I wonder what they call this kind of bug. You're way into that thing, aren't you? said, can I ask you a bit of an awkward question? What kind of demon would you say Velvet is? Uh, well... Oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to find a vulnerability or anything. I'm only asking out of curiosity. It's not that I doubt you, Eleanor. I just don't know much about her myself. You fought against her, haven't you? She consumes her enemies with her left hand and claims their power. She's a demon like absolutely no other. Plunk just about any demon down in front of her, and I bet she could devour it in a single gulp. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much true. Sometimes demons that she doesn't entirely devour turn human again, but... What? You've seen demons turn back into humans? Is it that big of a deal? Of course it is! Everyone knows that once you catch demon blight, that's it. There's no turning back. Although, I did see it happen with the High Priest Gideon. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. Not that it matters if he turned back, demon or not, he's dead either way. Whatever it is, it's of no concern to a pirate. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about what's normal. If things were normal, we wouldn't have found each other. You have a point. Sorry I couldn't help, Eleanor. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to keep digging until I find out more about the kind of demon Velvet is. Bye. 